G'day guys, and today we've got to talk about more police state bullshit coming out of Australia. So just this morning, Tuesday, likely when all of you were getting ready for work, or sleeping if you're on the other side of the world, the uh, federal police raided the home of News Corp journalist Annika Smethurst. So they executed search warrants over a 2018 report that she wrote up about new powers for the intelligence agencies to spy on Australians. So I'm getting my information here from The Guardian, and let's get into it. So the Australian Federal Police have raided the home of News Corp Australian journalist Annika Smethurst, investigating the publication of a leaked plan to allow government spying on Australians. On Tuesday, police executed a warrant investigating, quote, the alleged publishing of information classified as an official secret, which they, they said they had the potential to undermine Australia's national security. Now, it's no surprise there that a bill that allows, or a plan, to allow spying on Australians is kept wrapped up in secret. Of course, this is something you want to do behind closed curtains because no one likes being spied on. It generate it, it has the appearance of mistrust. Uh, obviously, you know, a lot of people are thinking, look, I'm not doing anything wrong. Why do you feel the need to go through, you know, as we'll get into it, my emails, my text message, and this sort of thing, you know, what, why are you doing this to me? You're not... You're not on my team at all. This is a, this is a pretty dick move. And they've trotted out the uh, usual bullshit of, of excuse of, you know, oh my God, she shouldn't have done this. She shouldn't have released this plan because it undermines Australia's national security. Now, I would argue that it undermines the government's security because obviously with this power to go through people's dirty laundry, so to speak, you can use it to silence dissidents. You can blackmail them, you know, someone's got some information on a politician or the government in general, but you find out through their emails that they're having an affair, well then you can blackmail them and get them to shut the fuck up essentially. So obviously this is just a move to keep the government uh, more opaque. It's got nothing to do with Australia's national security. So the warrant from an ACT magistrate gave police authority to search the home computer and mobile phone of the News Court Sunday Tiles political editor. So obviously, you're not just going to go through people's uh, physical presences, you've got to go through their computer and that sort of thing. Likely looking for um, other things that she may have uh, may have found or have at the moment. So obviously, the raid has prompted outrage from News Corp Australia, which labelled it a dangerous act of intimidation. Absolutely correct. Look, there are a couple of reasons why this could happen. And intimidation is certainly on the cards, because they're just picking someone and making an example of them. And they're not trying to be secret about it. They know that this is obviously going to be reported on because this lady is a journalist. And when she doesn't turn up to work, you know, she gets a call from the boss. Hey, Annika, why didn't you turn up for work? Well, I was just raided by the police for that article that I put out, you know, last year. So obviously this is going to become big news. And I would argue that if the Australian government is malevolent in its intentions with this, um, this spying bill that they wanted to pass, which they certainly could be. And, you know, the police status in general tend to be malevolent. They want to make an example of it and they want to make people afraid. So they want people to know that, yeah, if you question us, if you attempt to have government transparency, uh, leak what we're trying to do, try to, you know, get some transparency within the government, we're going to go after you and raid you in the middle of the morning, seize all your goods and generally make your life hell. So the plan in question would allow Australian spies to secretly access emails, bank accounts and text messages with approval from the Defence and Home Affairs Ministers. Now obviously, uh, like we've seen with the um, FISA court over in the United States, spying approval it tends to be just a rubber stamping agency, so clearly it's, it's sort of just a formality to get approval. It would be approved most of the time, as we've seen with the United States. So Annika wasn't actually arrested, she's just had all her property seized off her, stolen off her in other words, in order to um, comb through it and make sure she's not up to any more wrong thing. So News Corp Australia has further described the raid as outrageous and heavy-handed. The Australian public's right to know information about government laws that could impact their lives is of fundamental importance in our society. And this is absolutely true. The Australian government in regards to spying and police state bullshit is incredibly opaque. You have to remember that Australia does not have any right to privacy of any kind at all. So the, gov the Australian government can you know, attempt to formulate plans to spy on people and we don't need to know or, or we're not allowed to know about it. And they can basically do whatever they want, which is a pretty fucked up in, uh, situation. So this de raid demonstrates a dangerous act of intimidation towards those committed to telling uncomfortable truths. That pretty well sums up what I 
said before. And yeah, they've got it right on the medal here. They're saying, you know, what's going on this morning sends clear and dangerous signals to journalists and newsrooms across Australia. This will chill public interest reporting. So obviously they're in the same mind of me that this was just a uh, scare campaign and they want to get people to shut up about it. And, you know, it's really funny to think about because um, it's a total double standard, of course. It always is when it comes to um, what the government does because we think about Australian politicians who do the wrong thing. We have... Uh, Sam Dastyari uh, taking essentially money and services from Chinese government linked um, companies and you know they're allowing them to pay for goods and things like that and there being a potential avenue of corruption there and you know we've got to think about the Chinese uh, influence in our political system as well and you know the minor things of politicians using taxpayer funds to uh, fund their own you know helicopter rides I think it was the member for Ringo a few years ago got tossed out for that and that sort of thing. But what happens when these people do these things? Do we get to seize their um, their phones, their laptops? Do we get to crawl through all their dirty laundry? Well, no, absolutely not. They make a tearful apology, tearful at the fact that they got caught, rather than the fact that they um, did something wrong. You know, if they were truly upset about doing something wrong, they might not have done it in the first place. So they're just upset that they got caught. But it's totally the opposite way around. If you know one of the little people one of the uh, worker bees of the Australian economy does something, well, you know, if they tell some uh, truths that the Australian government doesn't want you to, uh, want, want, want us to know about, well, then you're going to get raided in the morning and have all your property stolen off you, and they're going to be crawling through that looking for some way to pin her against the wall. And that's just a fucking terrible way to live. Like, there should be at least basic reciprocity, but of course, that's a bit of a idealism, and idealism is something that often dies you know, quickly and early in any situation. So it's totally fucked up the way the Australian government can just do this, essentially. They can plan, uh, essentially, ways to spy on us without us ever knowing. They think that they have the right to access our text messages, our emails, our bank statements. And I would argue that it is for malevolent purposes. I don't believe that this sort of thing could be done for noble purposes of keeping the people safe. No, I believe it's a way to just shut down dissent. Um, as I mentioned before, you can you can find blackmail, you can prematurely defame people, say you have a journalist with some dirt on, again, a, a politician or the government, and that's inconvenient for the government, well then they can find out some impropriety of them, perhaps they made, you know, <laughs> the type of situation we're dealing with within society, if you make, you know, edgy jokes 10 years ago, you're in big trouble, as we've seen with the recent spate of Australian politicians leaving their office. Well, if you like something that's too edgy, or you told edgy jokes, or you're looking up conspiracy theories, well, that can be leaked to the new, uh, to competing media organizations who will jump down your throat and uh, get you defamed and slandered. No one will want to listen to you, despite the fact that you have very important information to tell. So yes, the Australian government is all fucked up and draconian. They want to spy on you. They want to jail you for causing offense online, which, you know, is the principal purpose of Australians going online. We, we go online to shitpost, guys. It's, uh, it's not that big of a secret. So it's all fucked up. Please share this around. You know, let people all around the world know what's going on. This isn't just an issue that concerns Australians only. You know, right around the world, we're being presented with the basic choice between tyranny and freedom. In Europe, you've got big problems of internet censorship. Even in the United States, which is supposed to be protected with the Fourth Amendment, you have workarounds and bullshit like that. So please let everyone know what's going on. Uh, a News Corp journalist was raided by the police for leaking or publishing a leaked document that uh, detailed how they wanted to spy on Australians. It's terrible, it's draconian. This isn't the way that enlightened first world countries are meant to operate, but unfortunately, that's just how the government works. Thanks all for sticking around, and have a good one.